I would like to demonstrate how to troubleshoot problems in a full core application. And I will be following the troubleshooting guide that I have created. Okay, so we have this application which is based on the full core demo, rod demo. And I have modified slightly the inventory port to show a different column. I want to see uppercase labels. But as you see, it's empty and we want to find out why. So let's go to the troubleshooting guide. We start with the front end because that's where we see the problem. And okay, so the first question to ask is the data in the client DB? Because as you know, full curl, the UI is essentially function of the data. So let's have a look at that. This is a report. Have a look at report ID. And this is the inventory report. And here we have the current rows. Okay, so that's an item ID. So we need to find item ID. Item ID. That's not here. Oh yeah, you uh, had problems. Item ID here. Okay, so item has ID, name, and the price. We don't see the label which we expected somewhere here. So indeed, the problem is in the client DB data is missing. In this case, the data is coming from the load. Uh, right, missing data, that's our problem. Has a load actually been is issued? Oh. I believe it has because we can see the other data, but let's verify that. We can go to the transactions. And if we look here, that's the one. So there indeed has been a load. Uh, but we don't learn all that much from that. Uh, so the next question, is there a problem with the backend? What, what, yeah, sorry. So the load has been done, but it returned only something. So we should find request in full core inspect network and look at that. Because contrary to transactions, here we will get more information. That's the one. And we see the query looks okay. We are asking for the category label uppercase. but the response does not include it. But we will actually learn more if we send this to the query, to the equal tab, and we can load indexes to get the completion. And now when we run it, okay, so here we actually see the label uppercase, but the value is not found, which would indicate that Python does not know this property. Uh, it's not really helpful here, but if we wanted to, we could simplify our query to focus on problem. I will demonstrate it anyway, because that's a useful tactic. And remember, you can have joins on idents, idents. It's good luck. I'll just for this one item. And you could even get rid of all the other things and only leave the one that we actually care about. Like this. Okay. So what's the next step? Uh, 
this is a backend problem. Yes, the query looks okay. Ah, we did run it in the equal, so we need to continue to the backend troubleshooting. Query does not return the expected data, which is exactly our problem. Uh, is your equal syntax correct? No reason to believe it's not. Uh, run the query manually through parser. It doesn't really add anything here. So the next one. Is there a resolver for the property join in question? Let's look into the index explorer. Now we need to load index. You, you have to have proper resolver registered for it that provides index. Uh, here attributes that's all the properties that are known to full query. We scroll down to category. So we see label, but label uppercase is missing from here. So that seems to be the root problem. For some reason, full query does not know about our category. Uh, let's have a look at the code. Here's it. Uh, so this is our report. Uh, that's the original inventory report. This is the label uppercase attribute and we see the attribute actually is defined as label uppercase and we can see it, it provides its own resolver so you go back to application Essentially, we arrived to our solution. Hmm. We have defined the attribute, but it's not known to pass on. Uh, and it's, it's all, it, this resolver is the one that should provide this property. So why is this resolver not known to pass on? most likely because we forget to register with Python. And if we scroll down, we see that indeed this is the list of attributes that eventually is composed into, into Python list of all known attributes and resolvers. It's missing our attribute. And thus also. Okay, we started. So let's look back at the index explorer. Of course, it's still not here because I have to load the index again. And now, if I scroll down, voila, there it is. And you can see this uh, is provided by the label uppercase resolver. That's the one generated from the attribute, which takes label and produces label uppercase. Uh, one more interesting thing uh, to discuss might be here, because you see here in the report, we have items, and now suddenly we have some attribute from category. So how is that related? How, how do we get from item to a category label. And for that, we have craft view. We want only direct inputs. And let's say level two. So we can see, now we can't see because it's too little, not too big actually. Oh, ah. Okay, so category label uppercase and is provided by category label and we can get to category label. I can scroll a little more up. From category ID and I get to category ID from item ID. So I think that's how I get there. And we can see details of item ID that it provides category ID, but also actually category label directly. And I can look at the resolver 
that's uh, that makes this possible. So this index explorer is extremely useful tool. And now we have fixed the problem. We should be able to see. Okay, should be able to see the the, the labels. Inventory view all. And here's it. Last thing, the DB Explorer. So we were looking for a report. Uh, called report. Sometimes the DB Explorer is more useful than uh, DB. Routing, state machines. Now maybe we search by ID. Here. Oh, here's it. So that's the report ID. Current rows. So here we see they are composed of IDs, and I can contrary to the DB here. I can click, and we see yes. Now the library is present. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope this has been useful to you.